Alright you guys, The Crow's Salvation is a much better movie than City of Angels. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. And it's kind of an all-started cast. You got Eric Mabius, Kristen, Kirsten Dunst, Fred Ward, uh, William Art, Art, Arthurton, that dude that played uh, that Dick, Dick Richard uh, Thornburg from Die Hard. Yeah, he's in here too. And now the story begins with uh, Eric Mabius' character getting, eventually being wrongfully accused of murdering his um, girlfriend and is eventually executed via the electric chair. And of course the crow brings him back to life to um, set all the wrongful things um, back straight. And when he eventually finds out that crooked cops were involved in the stabbing in the stabbing his girlfriend 53 times and beating her to death he goes on the eventual quest to find out which cops are which especially one in particular he seen before while he was being electrocuted he spotted some type of scar on one of their arms and he's out and he's hunting and everyone he kills he hunts and makes sure he has to want that scar but when he finally does get to that one with the scar things get a little bit hairy and all of a sudden he starts losing his power if you will and he doesn't really know why but eventually uh, stuff 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 and uh, <laughs> yeah I'm just gonna say stuff 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 so I don't wanna say what the fuck happens um, just in case you haven't seen this one you should this one is better <clears throat> not as better as the first one about a million times better than the second one <laughs> Um, I was kind of surprised with this movie, um, and the acting is good, okay? The thing about this one is Miramax was supposed to release this one in theaters, but because City of Angels got heavily panned at the box office, I mean, not box office, panned reviews, they just decided to release it straight to DVD. It shows, too. This one looked at, City of Angels had a budget of $13 million. The effects in that movie looked at god-awful. This movie has a budget of $10 million. It looks a thousand times better. And it looks like a movie that was going to be released in theaters. It doesn't look like something that was going to be released straight to DVD. So, if y'all would have released this in the theaters in 2000, it would have made up. Maybe about a good quarter of a century more than City of Angels. And maybe everybody would have been like, okay, y'all can make a good Kuro movie. It's not, it wasn't just a fluke. It, it can happen, you, you know? So, um, yeah, I'm going to have to give The Crow a C plus because I enjoyed it. I wasn't bored. I didn't, I cared about these people. Uh, not, well, not these people, but him, his girlfriend, and the girlfriend's sister. Because that's eventually who Kristen Dun Kirsten Dunst plays. She plays his girlfriend's sister. Who believes that he, too, was awful, awful. Uh, even, uh, wrongful accused of killing his girlfriend so um yeah crow salvation very good so pro just like the star trek movies all the odd numbers are the good ones but with the crow movies all the even ones are the good ones so one and three are the good ones two is the bad ones now we're gonna see what four is but yeah if you seen Crow Salvation, let me know down below if y'all liked it, if y'all hate it. Um, do you agree that the third one is second best? While this, as a matter of fact, this one should have been released first. Salvation should have been released in '96. That would have been the better sequel, seriously. But um, yeah, let me know. Later.